read you this um, passage from the Visuddhi Maga. It's called Body and Mind. When body and mind dissolve, they do not exist anywhere. Any more than musical notes lay heaped up anywhere. <laughs> when a lute is played upon, there's no previous store of sound. And when the music ceases, it does not go anywhere in space. It came into existence on account of the structure and stem of the lute and the exertions of the performer. And as it came into existence, so too it passes away. In exactly the same way, all the elements of being, both corporeal and non-corporeal, come into existence after having been non-existent and having come into existence, in turn, pass away. There is no self residing in body and mind, but the cooperation of the conformations produces what people call a person. Paradoxical though it may seem, there is a path to walk on. There is walking being done, but there is no traveler. There are deeds being done, but there is no doer. There is blowing of the air, but there is no wind that does the blowing. The thought of self is a dream and all existences are as hollow as the plantain tree and as empty as twirling water bubbles.